What's up guys? Joe Sullivan at VOD, theaodcollective.com with the breath belt. I just wanted to get this up because I had a lot of people actually asking me about it lately. Uh, just kind of a tutorial on what the breath belt is and how to use it. It's literally just a stretchy piece of fabric. It's just rubber. It's not anything special in comparison to like the material. It's not double ply. It's not supportive. It's nothing more than elastic, but elastic tension is a hell of an aid here because how many of you are my clients? I'm assuming I'm, a, I'm talking to a couple of you. Uh, I know that in my coaching and in my seminars and just in my helping of people, I talk about intra-abdominal pressure and how important it is to learn how to brace. I can cue you big belly, push your stomach out, fill your obliques, uh, don't let the bucket of water tip, all these different things, but they're all words. What we're actually worried about is execution. And with the breath belt, which is, it, it costs money, but it fixes and bypasses all of those cues because all you have to do is tighten it down and then watch what I do. As I push into it and brace my abdomen out, it pushes back because of that elastic tension. All this does for me, because there is some research and supporting arguments that releasing the abdomen, releasing the psoas, it basically frees up tissue everywhere else in the body, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not why I love it. I love it because it's an immediate fix and an immediate tactile proprioceptive cue to give you to learn how to brace through the entirety of your trunk rather than just your abs, rather than just <gasps> a big breath of air. It teaches you how to brace with your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, your obliques, your paraspinals, all the deep hip flexors in there. You, act, you actively have to tension against it because if you don't, it pushes back into you. This is just the first layer. You put this on, I wear it during warmups and I wear it during accessory exercises when my brace is more liable to get relaxed and lazy and loose. So it forces me to keep that good position. So you tighten that first one down, stand for a second, find the tension, breathe in, breathe out. Then once you're aware of what, it's feel, of what you're feeling for, what you're pushing against, you ratchet the top down and you're good to go. This is comfortable enough for me to wear during the entirety of my workout. I've done it before. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but I wear it on long drives. It really helps me keep my proper posture, proper abdominal bracing throughout the drive. Cause if, if you've driven long distances or flown like me, you do the lean and then one side, one oblique, one hip is fucking trash compared to the other. You're tired, you're loose or you're not loose. You're tired, you're tight and you don't want to train for two days. It feels like you competed when you do any level of long traveling, but I wear it during long traveling. I wear it during my warmups. I've worn it underneath my SPD belt and that feels like I'm wearing a fucking multiply suit, but this thing is $130 with my discount. It's worth every penny. I'm gonna to continue to wear mine and I'm continue, gonna to continue to push it because I've heard hundreds, hundreds maybe, stories by now of how much this has helped individuals with chronic back pain, chronic hip pain, and just shitty fucking bracing. This thing is worth every penny. And I really hope, I really hope in two or three years, damn near every power lifter has one, so. Thanks for, the, thanks for checking out the video. I don't know how to fucking end these.